Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I am so sorry that this took me so long to get around to filming. I initially put it off because I wanted to make sure that everything had healed and then next thing I know it's like been 10 months. So I am here to talk today about the procedure that I had done last June in 2020. That's a lie, 2021. I had liposuction done under my chin, so on like my double chin area and my jaw. So I have been wanting this procedure done for many years. Uh, it sort of runs in my family. All of the women sort of have like the classic turkey necks, no matter what size you are. Um, it's sort of where we accumulate fat. And I just find that in my personal opinion, it's more attractive um, to have sort of like a chiseled side profile. That's what I wanted to achieve. I'm so cosmetic slash plastic surgery positive. If it makes you happy, do it. I looked into it a little bit and was quoted a few different prices from different cosmetic surgeons and plastic surgeons. If you don't know the difference, plastic surgeon has in, in Australia a minimum of 12 years postgraduate training. Can you guys hear that? Okay, so plastic surgeons in Australia are like a member of this little society that's super regulated and really onto it when it comes to training and um, registrations and, and things like that. It's the Australian Society of Plastic Surgeons, I think is what it's called. Basically, to be a cosmetic surgeon, on the other hand, you don't need to have any specialist training. You literally just need to be registered as a medical doctor and you can call yourself a cosmetic surgeon. So there's a lot of sort of controversy around seeing cosmetic surgeons for anything truly invasive, my personal opinion is each to their own, do your research, they're allowed to do it, so you know there's that. For things like BBL, breast implants, nose jobs, I would not go to a cosmetic surgeon, I would only go to a plastic surgeon. I would just have that peace of mind and I know that the expertise is there. In saying that, I was quoted 7,000 minimum for the liposuction under my chin from plastic surgeons and then I have two people that I know who have gone to this doctor who's a cosmetic surgeon and said like he was fine and I was actually quoted on their website it says two thousand dollars for everything so I was like oh is that a bit sketchy I don't know and then I looked at all of his reviews all of his before and afters and um, to reiterate if it was a breast augmentation or really anything like structural structurally that I would care if it was messed up I wouldn't go to a cosmetic surgeon but because it's just sucking fat out and worst case scenario I have like nerve damage which I think I do actually like I've got like a bit of a loss of sensation but I don't really care it didn't really bother me so I decided hey like I'll go ahead with the cheaper one wouldn't necessarily recommend it I could afford it at the time but I was just like oh no like this seems fine like I just trust that he knows what he's doing and um, I by no means had a bad experience I would do it again I probably wouldn't go to where I went and I um, would probably not have traditional lipo. I would have Vaser lipo, which is like the more contemporary modernized technology. So basically I went in for a consult and then a couple of weeks later I booked in the surgery. He just sort of like drew some lines on where to suck out. Um, it wasn't even done under twilight anesthesia. Actually, it, it was like literally nothing. It was just like I was awake. I was completely awake. And I think that I have a reasonably high pain threshold, but it was super, super uncomfortable. It wasn't even uncomfortable. It was painful. It was really painful. I had like tears running down my face. Like the anesthetist was like holding my hand. They were so great. Like the, the team was awesome. But I felt everything. Like the cannula was going in and out, in and out. So keep that in mind. Look, in, look out for your options if this is something you're interested in. I, if I could go back, I would be put under and I would probably go elsewhere. There was nothing wrong necessarily with the... It wasn't bad, but it wasn't great, if, if I can say that. So other than the pain, that was really horrific. So pain is a con, price is a pro. Level of qualifications of the physician was a con, I guess. He did um, remove, I think he said 400 mils of liquid from my like area. Like, and yes, it's like fluid as well as fat, but that just really shocked me. I was like, wow, that's so much. So much stuff to be taken out. It was super swollen immediately after and lasted like one to two weeks afterwards. I believe you're supposed to wear the compression bandage for two weeks. Um, I only really wore it for one week full time because I couldn't take that long off work. I then from then on only wore it at night. So probably my, my fault. I completely own that. Um, I do think that there probably could have been a little bit more taken out. And I don't think that I would have had this if I had vaser lipo or maybe went elsewhere. So it's so much better than what, oh my God, this, these angles though. It's um, so much better than what it was. And I'm really happy with it. 
but I am considering when I go and get my next procedure that they sort of see if they can take a little bit more out and just give me that like really sort of chiseled look. It could definitely be that I didn't wear the compression bandage. Um, please follow the instructions of post-op care. I did not do that. I will say the doctor's bedside manner was a little bit bizarre. It could have been like a language barrier thing, but I don't think it was. When I was on the operating table, he was making like, a, like some sort of inappropriate innuendos about sex and like partners and dating and I just kind of felt really uncomfortable. It just really struck me as odd. I just wanted him to talk about, oh, you know, where's your next holiday gonna be? And it was just sort of like, I don't know, I, I felt kind of like, Ugh, are you hitting on me? I don't know. Everything else was okay. The clinic, because of the price, it's a given. It wasn't fancy. It was very sort of basic. <laughs> I just thought this was so funny. Like I'm not a coffee snob. I drink instant coffee every day, but like they serve instant coffee. <laughs> She's like, oh, can I make you a coffee? I was like, oh my god, I love a coffee. Thank you so much. And she like came out with like Makona, and I just thought that was so funny. Um, so it's, it definitely wasn't like glitz and glam. I don't want to name the doctor. However, I will say that they are a cosmetic surgeon in Spring Hill in Brisbane. If you do want the name, just DM me. My advice would be go to a plastic surgeon, do your research, make sure you get good vibes from them. And in my opinion, Vasa Lipo is superior. So I would do that if I could go back. The other thing actually, so on the website, the website's also a little bit funny looking. It's a little bit budget, which is fine. It's important we have like different tiers. Um, it said 1999 was the price for everything, like the garment, the um, post-op care, the procedure, anesthesia, which like I didn't really get put under. I just had like local. And I was like, oh my God, like this is so cheap. This is so great. Um, and then when I like was filling out the financial consents, it said 3000. And I was like, oh, like it says online that it's 2000. And she was like, no, it's definitely three. And I sort of showed her the website. And I was like, oh, I hate to be a pain, but like it definitely says 2000. She was like, oh, okay. Yeah. Well, like we'll honor it for you just this one time. But like she had to like check with the doctor and stuff. And I was like, well, it would be kind of shit if you didn't honor it because it's literally advertised like on your front page page. Uh, you should probably update that if you're updating your prices. It's also a huge markup from 2000 to 3000 increasing by 50%. Like what is this inflation? So I um, came home after the procedure was still quite numb and sort of like tingly um, but yeah quite sore sort of like achy just feeling really swollen. I did actually hate having to have the compression bandage on. I'm pretty sure you had to have it on for a week non-stop meaning like you couldn't like properly wet this whole area so you couldn't wash your hair and I wasn't prepared for that. So I obviously came into the surgery with greasy hair and then had to wait another whole week, um, which was crazy. But I do remember going into uni actually a couple of times wearing it and people were like, did you just get your wisdom teeth out? And I was like, something like that. <laughs> I think overall I had a positive enough experience. I wouldn't necessarily recommend it exactly how I did it, but I think it was it's a great procedure to do. I think it really enhances like that sort of natural, healthy, model-esque, I don't want to say feminine, but like because like men have like chiseled bones too, but like, I don't know, I just love the look of like a chiseled side profile. And I'm super happy that I did it. I will insert a montage. another two procedures coming up which I'm so excited for and I have thought so long and hard about it and I'm so excited and I'm planning on vlogging those as well so I do have them booked I think in both of them are in July but my um, consults are next week, next month so I'll like take you guys through the whole process just because I've been watching so many surgery vlogs lately and I find them so interesting and so informative and Hindsight is always 2020. If I knew the things that I know now before I had my life per, I would definitely have done things differently. So I hope that I can help out some of you if you are interested in this. If you aren't interested in this, I hope you found this entertaining nonetheless. It might be a bit boring and I'm sorry. If you guys have any questions about the procedure or literally anything, even video recommendations, leave them down below and I will respond accordingly. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one. Bye.